Hey folks, Rob and Nathan, and we are Two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride. And we're out here at 2019 SEMA. What do you think so far, Nathan? Well, it is awesome. Yeah, hey, but hey folks, we got a lot of cool videos coming up for you, so yes, stay tuned. Do. Got one coming right now, but before you do, take a moment, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. So you never miss a video. What do you say, Nate? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. All right. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we are here in sunny Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are at the SEMA Car Show, and we are with Jay. Hey everybody, and how you doing? Jay is again with Team Hybrid, and he has got a beautiful uh, 2015 right. Honda SI four-door that when you bought it was, was stock. Bone stock, 34 miles on it. Okay, and, a lot. and you didn't buy it to modify it. No, no, it was actually just bought because I needed an extra car to get to work, and uh, I said, you know what, I, I was up the night before at 1 a.m., and I, I saw it online, I said, hey, that's the one I want. I said, let's go get it, because I was searching for a car for months, and I was thinking Kia Optima or Kia, Kia Rio or whatever, like okay. I had a test drove Honda Fits and stuff like that, but it came to the fact that I just wanted something that could get me up the hill fast enough, so I opted for the 2015 Sega SI, and it worked out great. Okay, and so, um, you know, obviously as we can see here, yeah. you have since uh, modified yes. from yes. top to bottom. Yes. So what started the process? I mean, why did you go from uh, this is an everyday car to drive to work well, to something you're going to modify? That's a funny story because I was actually just going home from work one day and um, I saw a car meet at a grocery store and there's a bunch of kids with a bunch of Hondas out there and I'm just like, well, let me stop by and see what's going on. So I pull in with my stock Civic, I just pull in, <laughs> park far away, of course. I walk over to these kids like, hey, is there a meet here every week? And they're like, yeah, it's pretty cool, you know? So I got in touch with them, they, I gave them my number and they were telling me, you know, they, they started calling me uncle because I'm, I could have been their dad. So, I started going to their meets and started getting inspired by all the, you know, because I used to, I used to be race back in the 90s with nitrous and all that with a, with a 1990 Acura and everything. And I, I, used, I love Hondas. I love Hondas and Acuras. Yeah. But when I got to look at all these cars that are, you know, late car model cars, I'm just like, man, these are really nice. So I said, I can do it. You know, I, I'm in a position I can do whatever I want with my car. You know, and hey, and. This is what you see. So I, wow. I started going to more meets and stuff like that. And I said, you know, I just started putting little things here and there yeah. and pulled the trigger, threw the supercharger on. And I just wow. wanted to be noticed when I pulled in. So Well, you, you definitely are <laughs> noticed. Okay, so Jay, you know, you already talked about uh, supercharging the engine. Correct. So uh, you know, tell us about this because you've actually you put a... Uh, 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 well, this hood right here. Well, the, the problem is, is when I was, after I, when I supercharged the car, and I started color matching everything. The valve cover wasn't red. The, the piping wasn't white. I mean, all the charge pipes are white. Um, I wanted to, you know, color coordinate everything and clean up the whole engine bay. But yeah. of course, I wanted to represent it well. So I used to have my hood, you know, before I had this color cover, I was always popping my hood. Everybody always wanted to see under my hood. And I'm just like, oh man. So what could I do to stand out to make it so I don't look like everybody else, you know? So I called uh, Kevman's in Thailand and they sent me this. This is made especially for my car. And it came with a polycarbonate, you know, see-through uh, uh, glass. And with the, it's called, it's, I think it's called a hybrid hood because it has carbon, par carbon fiber as well. And it was a great, as soon as I put it on there, before I even installed it, I added lights all the way around there so it enhanced the engine look at night. Yeah. And th that's what you see right here. And then wow. everything else, so now that I saw what was under here, when you look through the glass, I started cleaning everything up, like taking out the battery, yeah. cleaning up the lines, 
uh, making it look, you know, presentable. And uh, I'm still not happy with everything that I did here, but I'm, I'm gonna clean it up even more, so. This, this, this looks beautiful. I appreciate that, this yeah. This is awesome. And, and <laughs> this must be, is this the way to pop the hood then? Yes, is this is the way you did to well, it? Well, the okay. thing is, this didn't come with no, the no. Uh, with the hood, so it was a, it, it's, it's a hit or miss if you have to be on point with the with the hood pins, because when I drill through this, you know, thousand dollar hood, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I was scared, Yeah. you know, I pretty. Bet. So everything had to be perfect. Yeah, exactly. Now most people buy a like a, you know expensive carbon fiber hood, right? And then, and then you know cut a hole. In it. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a top layer and a bottom layer, so it really was nerve wracking just to start sure. drilling into this thing. And uh, we did it. We did it right. And it was all out of my garage. Hey, yeah. so tell us uh, a little bit about your front end because okay. you've got something going on with your headlights. You got something very different, unique about yeah, exactly. this part. And then <laughs> down, well, we got several things. Like I said, when I saw the ninth gens out there, they had the they had a very plain front front bumper and I saw this guy on the East Coast he had a four-door and something looked different about him I'm like wow that is clean what is different about it he has a four-door but the front end looks like a two-door yeah well that's what he did he took the bottom of a two-door uh, with the vents and the aggressive uh, from here, front, from here yep. down it is for a two-door okay. um, so he I plasti bonded that bottom half I actually went all the way up to LA got the bottom half of an SI bottom half and then I made it into the top half so I can retain my headlights because the four-door has different headlights yeah. as well I didn't I'm so I so did you cut and re-fiberglass they, they actually cut it, no fiberglass. It's, they said they plastic bonded it. I don't know how okay. they did it. The guys at the shop did a great job. When I first got it out, tell. it looked pristine, man. I mean, I, I got a little rock chips here and there, but I mean, it's but, just... I mean, you can't tell that this wasn't made I told car. This is what I told them. I go, I want it to look like it came out of the factory like this. That's what it does. So, when I put this on, I cut out the grill, cleaned everything up, put the top one splitter and the winglets as well. And we just color matched a little here and there and it came out great. And then as far as the headlights go, I mean, I wanted to be different with the headlights that not everybody had because everybody had like those D-spec headlights for this yep. and I wanted to be different. I had them already, but then I opted, I saw this other car, like I'm, I'm online all the time and I'm seeing these oh, cars yes. and I take bits of everybody's yep. build and it makes it beautiful and I combine it all into mine. Um, these are actually prototype retrofitted uh, TLX headlights from an Acura TL That's what they look and like, yeah. it, it was this guy Colin from Vision Auto Works in South Carolina he um, we were going back and forth I sent him my OEM he never ones one. he's never built one he was the only built ones for 8th gen I was the very first one for the 9th gen so it was a few back and forth I had to ship my, my OEMs he shipped it to me, wasn't right, I had to ship it back, wasn't right. He, we ta played tag on, on mailing it to back and toward, to each other. And then finally, it, everything was perfect, everything was lined up. Uh, he offered with RGB um, lights underneath, yeah. colorful lights in the daytime. Oh, yeah. And everything's uh, Bluetooth, so I can change colors with the thing as well. And I tell you, That's this thing awesome. changes the front. I mean, it looks like a transformer to me, but yes. in the, in, you know, yeah, yeah, from yeah. What, my, my point of view here. But other than that, yeah, the bumper is original. Nobody on the West Coast has this bumper yet. Um, and yeah, it looks like it was factory, like you said. I mean, <laughs> and really that does. was the point, you know. And so, so now tell us about the spoiler. The spoiler is from Top One. Um, they do make the front end. I had to get one for the coupe, and but as long as the, the, the Top One spoiler, the, the side skirts as well, uh, that had to be custom made because they don't make them for this car. Okay. They're usually shorter for the car, so they had to make them longer. So I gave them my measurements, and it just implemented both sides and front to tie in together. I just I love that. <laughs> Let's, let's step back okay. here a little bit. So tell us a, a little bit about uh, um, you know some of the modifications right. you're doing on the inside are Correct. not done yet. Yeah, yeah. And they're still in the works, but you've got a, a steering wheel. Yeah, I have an NRG steering wheel. I'm just gonna have to get a different hub so that way it's a quick release as well. I think it's a great look for the car, um, and, and also it's a great display. So when you take it off, people see that you have a, a, a steering wheel release, and you can hang it on a hook or on your, your yeah. rearview mirror, and it looks that much more awesome. Um, I didn't get a chance to do it this time around but it will be coming in soon so hopefully uh we'll get the right part for it you know as well as uh the energy we, we just put the energy uh, um, uh stick shift as well and hopefully the right oh, seats yeah. come in as well see that yeah, yeah. okay and then uh sitting back here you okay. can see you've got your roll cage correct it's and a harness bar yes uh no yes correct that's a harness yeah bar. it's a straight harness bar okay um, 
And then you've got, I, I like your uh, your uh, sub, your sub <laughs> setup for there, along with your nitrous. Exactly. And I like it that you put it near, near a sub, so the, if, if it does a fire naturally, the vibration the vibrational will, will kill me doing that. All of a sudden, So, now, did you, how, how much of all this okay. have you done yourself? I mean, some of you, obviously, I, have, you have to set it up. Yeah, are, yeah. Are you, are you mechanical, I'm, or are you like an artist? Like, you I, it and then, I'm mechanically inclined where I can do the easy stuff as far as like install the seats, steering wheel, everything else that you see like in the back seat, it's like custom made. I had to have yeah. done at a shop because there's no way this guy with a one-off uh, oh, back, no. back seat delete um, uh, display setup. This guy was a mad scientist that that did my my back seat and as well as the trunk too. We carried it into the trunk, but we just came up with a design. And I said, well, this is what I'm thinking. Let's do nitrous oxide because everybody can do you know, which is not I mean, which is fine. Yeah. You can get a real upholstered upholstery back right. there. But then again, they're just seats. Yeah. I go, let me see what I can do back here that's different from everybody else. Okay. And I said, let's do a backseat delete. We can implement the stereo system. And then with a, with a 950 watt Hertz amp and a JL Audio sub and then display the nitrous with the running lights. And he came up with this design, which was, I think, is perfect for, for the car. He, it took him a, like over a week and a half to do constant just concentrating on my car and then it, it came out beautifully to me um, but as everything else goes in, on the interior I had the uphold all four doors upholstered and the thing I didn't know about this upholstery on the doors is that we came up with design was actually supposed to go down the other way flipped around but we ended up opting going this way and then my friend goes hey if you look at what you did isn't that the Honda wing and I go in no way and then we put it next to the Honda wing and everything and I was like it worked out perfectly. Ah. As well as the top, we, we got the upholstery done on top as well with some did some black velvet and, and the design as well that from the doors to the to the roof. I can see that back there. Yeah. Now you've also got some custom gauges. Correct. These are AEM gauges on a on a custom pillar pod by Ortiz Pods from the East Coast. Okay. I told him what I needed and he sent it to me like in two weeks. He had that made custom for me for the three because they only come in like one or two. Okay. I said I needed three. So we got AEM gauges as well for oil pressure, boost gauge, and AFR. Okay. So I mean everything there. When it starts up, I love the way it looks at night. I mean, the thing, and it, and it reads perfectly to me, you know. It looks like it, an airplane cockpit. I was like, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I kind of was going for. I'm like, yes. <laughs> All right, let's, let's step back. Yeah, here. sure. Take a look at the, at the back here. All right. All right, so Jay, on the back side of your car here, we've got a, obviously quite a bit of custom parts yeah, here. Yeah. So let's just start with with the top here. We don't want to take this down because you got a okay, display, yeah, no problem. but you well, got a um, the spoiler the, back there. The original spoiler that came with the car, it was more of a, um, like a super style spoiler, right. but it, everybody had it. Right. I put a gurney flap on it, everybody had that. So again, I wanted to be original. Um, when I got the when I got the kit, this is actually a Kevman's duck bill from Thailand as well. Yep. Uh, actually, the only thing Kevman's I have on this car, the three three things are the, the duck bill, the steering wheel, and the front hood. Okay. Um, the Kevman's made it look sleek and smooth, and I love the way it looks on the car. Not everybody has it, and when I put it on there, they're like tripping out on it because they're like, man, that's pretty clean, you know. I like I'm, I'm more of a clean, sleek look, you know, and I didn't want it to overdo it with the big wings and everything, which right. are fine too yep. as well. Yeah. But for me, it's just that's. My well, style. it's everyone in their own taste, piece. right? Yeah, exactly. And it's, I mean, this this is your piece of artwork, exactly, right? So wow. it should reflect you, and it does. <laughs> I hope it's art. It does. <laughs> now, and then uh, you also must have done some yeah, uh, we, some repaint, um, some blackout here. All, we did the vinyl wrap. It, it follows from the bottom to the to the back. Trunk so this is so this is all vinyl. vinyl. This is all vinyl. Man, correct. yeah, that I stuff is incredible. Yeah, there is no paint on this car. It's, it's you know just it's just all vinyl from the front wow. to the back to the top of the roof and everything. It was all done at once, and I think it. It kind of gave it an accent of you know where everything was at on, on yeah. the car, so I, I like how it turned out. So um, tell us, tell us about what you have in the trunk here because okay, there's well, a, lot, a lot going on with the trunk. Everybody had I actually had a diamond plate okay. uh, bottom yep. and uh, the with the setup of the. Uh, uh, Speakers? The, the, no, there's no speakers back here. Okay. The, uh, the air compressor for the oh, for yeah. the for the um, airlift performance uh, okay. uh, shocks. And so I went to the mad scientist, the guy who did the backseat delete, yeah. and I said I want to carry that look into the trunk. Okay, with this trunk, I mean, if you can see, I can open this up, and and you can tell everything on this trunk is not OEM from the side door, from the side panels here to the to the bottom they're all there's 234 magnets in the back of this wow. um, 
the back of this trunk setup and everybody thinks this was OEM but until they see the lights it's not OEM there's 120 hours of man were hours into this that, back I mean, trunk. It's incredible crash but it's yeah this guy good. this guy totally went above and beyond my expectations because of the fact that every piece of wood that's on here these are all custom contour pieces of wood that he laid back back further and back further to contour to the actual size of each trunk that, that would clear the the, the trunk the the, yeah and then what he did when when he got this all in he wanted to make sure it was accessible so these are all magnets these are all magnets this is magnets um this whole thing can pop up in magnets just for maintenance causes you know so if anything goes wrong we can pop everything out right um oh, yeah. as well as what you don't see is all the wiring that went into this car every aftermarket accessory on this car is back in this trunk right here so we, when we, we, we when we removed the battery from the from the hood to the back we had a double agm two double agm batteries on a custom battery setup with all the wiring back here and so he gave me this access little key right here i can just put pop it on the magnet and pull it up and everything oh, back wow. here is actually um i'm oh, sorry the lights are coming off a little bit um everything back here is labeled every aftermarket accessory it got one gauge cap battery going one gauge wiring going all the way to the front for the positive and negative and every um, aftermarket accessory is labeled here in, on a distribution block with the batteries and also i can jump the car from underneath which is plugging it in back to being clean and neat yes <laughs> even down to the wiring <laughs> but that's great because yeah Lord help you if it wasn't, and yeah. you start to try to figure out what's where. You don't know where oh, it is. Man. Everything down from every relay to every fuse, it's back here. And it's so accessible. And it's very accessible. That's what we were going for. That's and just... it was just amazing me when I saw this thing and we were I was there like every day watching this thing happen. I go, this is incredible. And I didn't even know when he, the last two days I left them alone to do the vinyl wrap on all yep. of this. It's ridiculous what the, my boy Kenny at Sound Deluxe did, and it's just amazing and how we reset everything. He we did all the wiring on my car, and the stuff you don't see that runs through the front yeah. of, to the engine yeah. is wrapped beautifully, nicely yes. placed, grommets, everything. It's just it's it's amazing. It blows okay, my another, mind. Another another yeah. craftsman at his trade, right? Not just a yeah, guy exactly. who wires, but yeah, exactly. somebody who cares about uh -huh. what he's doing. And the thing about this is that I wanted something to go through the window. Oh, I wanted I to go through the window. Yes. So we said, I go, Kenny, give me something we can see from both angles. And he goes, you know what? Why don't you put the Honda symbol there? And I go, by golly, Watson, you did it again. <laughs> so with that, we implemented the window that goes right through and you can see both back and front and it worked out perfectly. And then the running lights are are, are controlled by my Bluetooth. I can change it to any color, any any speed at all. and. That's how it comes out, both trunk and backseat for me. And then he etched his name on his. I go, put your oh, name nice, on there, bro. Nice, nice. On this plexiglass. I mean, Kenny from Sound Deluxe did an amazing job. This guy is uh, he actually, he, he does work a lot of work for Sony that he okay. customizes their new vehicles. They give him a car and all these products and say, here, go wild. You know, so. I, I can see why they say that. He yeah, obviously exactly. is an artist at what he does. He did a great job on everything on this oh, thing. And I'm just, man. I'm so happy that, you know, he, he did this for me. It is it's amazing it time to do it. So, um, you talked a little bit about air suspension. Correct. So, tell us what you have for air suspension. Well, this is an airlift three-peat performance. Now, everybody went, you know, we all went through cut springs, regular shocks, coilovers. I had them all on this car. Yeah. Okay, well, actually not the cut springs, but I put, a, I had a, like some skunk tube coilovers that I had okay. before. And it, it, it's great for track, but it was very hard for me to, to get that. It's very bouncy, and I don't race it on a track that much. I like right. to go straight, you know? Right. Um, the handling was great, but the thing is, going into curbs and everything, like going, going into shopping centers or whatever, it's always a pal with for me. I didn't want to ruin the front end because no. I spent a lot on that front yeah. bumper. Yeah. I don't want to have any damage to it. Right. So I opted for the airlift three peak performance. And because the fact that it sits low when I when I display at a car show, I mean, it says a lot about the car. It makes it look that much better, I in my eyes. Um, but yeah, when I put the three piece system in, I mean, this thing airs up and airs down. It runs smooth like a Cadillac on the road. And it's a 30 way adjustable shock so I can actually make it harder for you know if I want to go faster or something like that so I mean I just have to turn each one of them that's what these bags are for I can take these off and adjust the shocks okay so it's We're awesome right there. <laughs> exactly oh, nice so but yeah I mean 
best one of the best modifications I've done to the car is the air ride suspension system, and I love it to death. How, you know? how much? How much in, in terms of inches do you get from it a can go from down the way it can go? I, I think six or seven inches. It'll it'll bring it back way over stock height. Oh, over stock. It's over stock. I mean it, it. I mean you're talking wheel wheel about this high. Wow. Yeah, that's the reach, and then I can drop it all the way down low. I mean this thing. So, so you can have the car set up like originally correct. was, or you can go higher, or you can exactly. Just, wow, and I think that's the best of both worlds. You yes. know, you can you can you can drive on the freeway without having you know worry about anything it's hitting the bottom of your car. Yeah. Exactly. And then um, at the show, you can drop her that low to the ground. Yeah. She'll she'll lay frame. So. Uh, so have you done anything with the exhaust? The exhaust is uh, by uh, NVIDIA. It's a Q300. It's a uh, three inch from the tip all the way to the straight to the Skunk 2 header. Oh, wow. um, can I admit there's no catalytic converter? Yeah. <laughs> I bet it makes that's, a sweet sound though. Yeah, it makes a beautiful sound on this thing. And I, the, from back here, the engine sounds great. From up there, it sounds even better, better because of the supercharger and everything and the, and the blow off valve. Okay, so uh, Jay, just a couple more questions. Yeah. Obviously you have a lot of graphics on Correct. your car and, Correct. and you represent Companies. Exactly. So we've talked about Team Hybrid. Right. You're a member of Team Hybrid. So Team tell Hybrid. us a little bit about who you're sponsored by. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to get all these sponsors if I wasn't in, on Team Hybrid. Uh, okay. James Lynn started this thing about 25 years ago, 26 years ago, and I was very blessed he would accept my car into his car club and it's been amazing right this guy has connections everywhere um like i said without the team i wouldn't have any sponsors we are sponsored by michelin uh we are sponsored by amsoil we just did a cover uh, uh shoot with amsoil last year okay. up in oxnard and it was it was amazing and then our newest sponsor is tire stickers um we are i do have tire stickers but i didn't put them on uh the actual team yep. hybrid type of right and we've we have seen on. those yeah yep. we yeah. had it on a I, yeah exactly car. i left it on because there was like i had no time for anything on this so we just left them on and I'll, I'll do it after because I'm getting new tires by Michelin anyways okay um, other than that um, we have you know skunk 2 has been a great sponsor for me uh, whenever I'm at shows and they're boothing they always want me as a booth car and which is cool because I'll, I'll give them love they always give me love so anything yeah. I ever need skunk 2 craftworks grams are all one company and okay. they make great products and anything that I need from them you know big board throttle bodies uh, fuel pressure regulators gauges the supercharger the, the exhaust, uh, I mean, I had an exhaust brake on this thing. They sent me a new one the next day, and it was it's awesome, these guys, to work with. Wow. Other than that, man, really I mean, nice. everything here, um, what you see on, as far as the labels go, um, uh, Maserat wraps and everything did my yeah. car, and if anything that goes wrong with it, they take care of me. Um, yeah, so, I mean, our sponsors, it's just, it's amazing that these guys do, and, you know, when I show for them, they give me love by, right. by just giving me their products, man. Right. I just, I, I can't represent them better, you know, you know, with, for what they have, you know, so. Well, I, I, th I think you've done a great job representing everybody that, that helped you. That's a beautiful <laughs> car. These um, guys are um, amazing. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, it takes a person like you, though, uh, to have that drive to yeah. want to do something with a car. Exactly. And then to have the vision to say, how am I going to, you know, exactly. it's a little, a little bit like when Van Gogh made masterpieces, That's right? True. You're the Van Gogh for this particular car. Yeah, he has both ears. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. All right. Well, this was before that <laughs> slight Van Gogh incident. So I've got one more question okay, for you, sure. Jay. Sure. Uh, what's your favorite thing about this car? Oh, my favorite thing about the car? Um, well, my dream was always, back in the day, you never seen Hondas supercharged or turbocharged. You have, but they were few and far between. So my dream was to always have a, a Honda four-cylinder that was forced induction. So I'm gonna say my supercharger from Kraftworks has been the best thing I've ever done to my car because it just makes me stand out. It, it, it ties in the look with performance and I love to go fast, you know? So when I put that pedal to the metal and I hear that blow-off valve going, every penny is worth that supercharger man and I love it you know with that pressure that doubling the horsepower on this car is just intense you know for going from 210 to 442 um, and getting the best tuner in San Diego Darden I gotta give him a shout out because he just tuned this thing to perfection and it's he does it safe and he does it well man and I just love the way he did things so awesome. I'm gonna say so the supercharger is the number one the number thing on my car. Exactly. So it goes from 210. Correct. Crank. To four. Yeah. To 442 to the wheels. I, I can't even imagine what that would feel like. <laughs> oh, that's just awesome. It's, it's, it'll put you back in your seat. Ow, I bet it will. And I love it. Jay, thank you hey, so much. Nate, I, I'm thank you guys. channel for intervening with us today with your awesome car. Hey, I appreciate everything you guys. All you guys right. are awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>